Hello everyone, this is Organic One Lab. Um, this would be the bromination of E. still bean, and as you can see uh, here the TAs are at step one of your procedure adding 0 0.9 grams of E. still bean to a 25 mil round bottom flask. Well, they're weighing it out and then they're going to add it to a 25 mil round bottom flask. And so we can see here on the balance. Ooh, they're real close. They're 0.9. Go back. Well, let's just say it wasn't 0.9. It was 0.91 grams. Okay, to be more specific. Now they are getting a volume of dichloromethane. Um, they need 10 milliliters of DCM or dichloromethane. All right. Now, along with their e still being solid, they're adding that dichloromethane. They're shake, 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 shaking that flask. Shake that flask so it'll dissolve. All right, looks like it's pretty good and dissolved. They already have a uh, magnetic stir bar in there, so don't think that's solid. That's the stir bar. All right, next up, we can see that they have one molar, a one molar bromine solution. <coughs> All right, and they're going to need three milliliters of that. All right, that stuff does not look delicious. Alright, don't freak out. Uh, the TA is removing their gloves because they got a little bit of bromine on their gloves, so they don't want to contaminate anything. So they got new gloves. Alright, and so we're about to see them add the bromine solution to the round bottom flask. And they are going to stopper it. And now they're going to try to let it stir um, and you can already kind of see a white precipitate forming um, so this reaction does happen quite readily um, and what's not going to be shown um, as they stir 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 they were having a little problem with their stir plate it would just randomly stop stirring um, but I think that's because they already they had some solid so it was not really working for the stir bar that they put in but anyway, so they uh, they stirred it and was not going to be shown. It was a 15 minutes of allowing the reaction to occur, but they did do that. All right, and you can see that white precipitate, and that's what's kind of making the whole stir bar process difficult because all of that solid in there is gunking up the works, so the stir bar can't stir as, as easily. All right, so now uh, the 15 minute mark is over, so now they're going to try to neutralize their solution. Um, so they added sodium bicarbonate to it and you can see they're using pH paper to check what the pH is. It didn't come up neutral, pH 7, so they're adding more. Shake, 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 shake. Will it neutralize? Will it neutralize? Let's see. And so you can see here, it is, yeah, it looks exactly like that pH 7 color. So it is neutralized. Now they're going to take the flask, they put it in an ice bath um, to get some crystals, finish any, recrystal, any, finish any crystallization, not recrystallization, but um, they're going to finish up crystallization. And uh, you can see now they're, they're setting up the Butner funnel and flask. Um, and they're hooking it up to the, the vacuum pump so that they can do a vacuum filtration. All right, and uh, just to let you know, you can't hear it, but the vacuum pump is currently on, so I can make the noise to let you know. Okay, I'm done. That's too annoying. All right, and then to try and wash off the product. 
they're solid, they are adding some more dichloromethane. And they're going to let it dry, keeping the vacuum pump going. They're going to let it dry on the watch glass now to dry some more using gentle, gentle heating, right? Very, very gentle. Right? We do not want a roaring boil, or well, technically in this case, since it's solid, we don't want it to melt. All right, and so now that they have their dry solid, you can see that they are prepping capillary tubes with their solid. Um, and they're also using the steel beam as a reference. Right, um, and I'm, I'm going to skip the e-steel beam melting. Um, and so the e-steel beam, your reactant, is the far left capillary tube. The far right capillary tube is your product, your unknown product. And so you can see here on the Digimet, we're already up to 223 degrees C. And so that far right-hand capillary, the solid, it hasn't started melting. Oh, there it goes. But you can also see there was some time lapse that happened here. We're already at 240. So... <clears throat> We're going to say that our melting range was about 238 to 240, and our product mass is about 2.84. 2.4.